Hello everyone, welcome to Clee2 Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can connect your Blogger website with Search Console and submit the sitemap in Search Console. So if you don't know what is Search Console is, Search Console is a tool developed by Google that helps you analyze your traffic and it helps you connect your website with Google. So whenever you publish a new article or blog post then it will ping that article to google using the sitemap so google bots can easily crawl your website and index your pages in google search so that it will display the website in google search result page so search console is very important if you want to show your website in google search so for this you need to first log into your blogger dashboard and then click on settings here and here you need to scroll down and search for something like crawlers and indexing so by default the custom robot.txt is up so you need to click on on here and here you will see this option custom robot.txt and you need to paste a code like this so let me just open the notepad and here as you can see this is the custom robot.txt code and here as you can see this is the user agent star means it will allow all user agents and here we have set the rule disallow search so it will block the indexing of search pages because anyone can search anything in your website like if i search something like xyz then it will create a new url for that search query but i don't want to index that result in search so i have disabled the search using this code disallow search then the next thing is disallow category so if you don't want to index the category pages in google search then you can disallow it and you can also disallow tags like that or you can disallow feeds url so basically if you index category pages in google search then it will may create a duplicate issue in search result that's why i have disabled the category and then you need to allow the sitemap so by default blogger comes with two sitemap one is for pages and another one is for post so this one is for post and this one is for pages like about us contact us pages so here you need to add the url of your home page like this and then you will add forward slash sitemap.xml and same thing add the home page url and then forward slash sitemap dash pages dot xml and make sure to remember that you have to post at least one post and one pages before submitting your website in google search console otherwise you may face some errors so you have to copy this custom robot.txt and paste it here and click on save changes so i have already done this and you can also enable the custom robot header tags and here you will see this option home page and make sure to keep it all and no dp and click on archive and search pages and click on no index because you don't want to index the category pages and click on no dp and here in the post and page tag we want to index our post so we have added the all and no dp so after you do the settings you need to click on search console button here just click on here and you can also directly search google search console in google and click on the first result here and as you can see it will redirect me to the google search console website and we need to add the home page url so let me just copy the home page url from here and i will add the url here url prefix now let's click on continue and if you are using custom domain then you can also use the domain property here so it will automatically verify it so let's go to property and let's click on start here and if you don't see automatic verify then you can just go to settings and let's click on association sorry click on back and click on the ownership verification and here you will see this option like html file html tag google analytics so let's click on html tag and i will copy the html tag from here and i will go to the blogger dashboard and click on theme here now i will click on edit html here 
and I will paste that meta tag just below the head tag and let's click on save changes so that it will verify that the website you are trying to add in Google search console is owned by you so because you have only access to the admin panel okay now the ownership is verified let's click on verify here and as you can see the HTML tag is verified so you can verify your website in multiple ways and you can also add a HTML file like this to the root directory but in blogger we don't have the root directory access and you can also use the DNS record just you can add a txt record in your domain register and add this code then it will verify your website so there are multiple ways but the easy way is to add the html tag just below the hat tag okay now we have verified our website in google search console this will how the google search console dashboard will looks like and here you will see this clock icon because we have just added the google search console so it will take some time to analyze the data and show you the result so it may take some days now the important step is click on sitemap here and we need to add the sitemap so as i discuss the sitemap url is home page url slash sitemap.xml so let me just copy the sitemap.xml from here and I will paste it here because we have already added the URL by default in URL property. So let's click on submit here. Okay, as you can see, it has discovered one URL. So let me just show you click on post here. And as you can see, there is one blog post so far. So it will show the one discover URL. And sometimes you may get some error, but it will automatically fix if you have done the process correctly now let's add the second sitemap it is sitemap for pages so let me just copy this code and i will add it and click on submit so in this way you can add multiple url multiple sitemap url to your search console and as you can see it has discovered four pages one is about us contact us pages like that so now we have added the pages and post sitemap in search console now almost 90% of the work is done and you can just click on URL inspection tool just copy the home page of your URL home page URL and paste the home page URL here and let's click on enter so it will retrieve the data from the server and as you can see we have just created the site and want to submit it in search console and here as you can see it is not detected in the sitemap and there is no referring page because you you have to link your existing pages with the home page so it will show the referring pages now it will show the last crawl data and crawl as like this so here you will see this one page is not indexed url is known to google so we have to click on the request indexing button so it will test the site in live so it will crawl the Google will send a crawler to your website and crawl the whole web page. So let's wait for some time. Okay, now it has submitted the indexing request. Now Google will crawl your website in some days or you can say in some hours. And let's click on the test live URL here. So it will again take some time. So let's wait okay now it has tested the live url and as you can see url is available to google now let's click on page availability and url will be indexed only if certain conditions are met so let's click on the conditions and here are the conditions so you need to read the google guidelines means what are the guidelines based on which google index your web page because if your site quality is not good then google will not index the url so you have to properly customize your website and write original and unique content and don't create duplicate pages and don't add placeholder images or placeholder text text like that so and here as you can see it has crawled by google smartphone bot and crawl is allowed so you have to check this one crawl allow 
so if the crawl allow is yes then google will um, try to index that pages as soon as possible and as you can see user declare canonical is this one so canonical basically the url where if your website has multiple version suppose you have http double dot forward slash xyz dot com and you have https and you have http www so you have to select one url as the canonical url because google will treat all the url differently so that's why it has declared because we have declared the canonical like this https and after testing the url after crawling the website google will declare a canonical on that own so let's click on mobile usability and as you can see it is fully mobile responsive and you can see the page is fast now now let's click on view http response and here as you can see 200 ok so if you get the 200 ok then google will successfully fetch the url to the server and let's click on screenshot and as you can see the web page is loading properly fine by uh, and the rendering of google smartphone board is good so and here you can see the html code like this and here you will see the actual theme code here as you can see we have added the meta verification code like this and that is title of the uh, home page and here you can see meta content and everything metadata like this so now you have learned how to create a google search console account and verify your website in google search console and how to submit the sitemap of the blogger website to google search console and after some days it will show the data in the google search console and you can track your website traffic using the google search console dashboard so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and share your feedback in the comment section and if you want to learn how to customize blogger website then you can watch the video in the description and i will see you in the next video thank you